welcome to the library of man. Within the pages of a book. Spring, this is my friend from Fukadli Boots. A world of magic. A world. I've come to deliver some bad luck. Hey everyone, this is Christian from Nightingale Reviews, and today I wanted to do a quick TBR for a reading marathon that Bailey and I will be participating in. Um, it's put on by the Bright Side Girl. I will put all of her information down below. Um, it's a mermaid marathon, and I'm really excited because I haven't really participated in a whole lot of reading marathons in general. And um, mermaids are kind of like that small genre of books that I feel like there aren't like a huge amount of and I just love when I find a great mermaid book. And so today I just want to talk about um, what books I'll be using for the challenges. Oh, additionally, before I forget, the marathon will be taking place from July 1st to July 7th, and there are a total of five challenges. Alright, so the first challenge is to read a book set at sea. So for this, I'm going to be using The Vicious Deep by Zareta Cordova. Um, a lot of these books that I'm using, I think four out of the five, I've already read before, so I'm pretty much just rereading them. Um, and there's one that's new to me, but um, due to the fact, like I said, there aren't like a huge amount of mermaid books out there, especially ones that I enjoy. So I'm just going to stick with some that I've read before. I either you know want to reread the series, or I've read the first books and want to finish the series. Etc. Alright, so The Vicious Deep is probably one of my all-time favorite mermaid books, or merman, I guess, because it um, does focus on uh, one boy who is half mermaid, half human. Alright, we've moved places. Okay, so The Vicious Deep follows Tristan Hart. Um, he is a high schooler, he's captain of the swim team, pretty popular kid. And one day he is swept out to sea, and he soon discovers that he's actually half human, half merman. And his mother, I believe, was the princess of a kingdom, so that makes him the next heir. And he kind of has to navigate this new information. And, I don't know, I just I loved the story so much. It was an amazing series. I believe it was a trilogy. And I'm really excited to reread it, especially with Bailey, because she's never read it before. And, uh, I don't know, I love sharing books that I love with her, and hopefully she falls in love with it. Um, so the second challenge is to read a book about a transformation. Okay, so for this challenge, I'm going to be doing Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood Brown. Um, so Lies Beneath follows a character known as Calder White. He again is a merman. You can see a repeating trend in these books. So essentially he has three sisters and every single year they migrate back to Lake Superior which is pretty much where his sisters and him grew up. What happens is there was a man that their mother made a promise with and in this world mermaids um, when they make a promise they have to keep them or it ends up killing them. And this promise wasn't kept. His mother died and they're going after the person who broke the promise. However, the man is no longer alive, but his son and his grandchildren are. So they're going to go after his son, and Calder is the one that has to get close to one of this guy's daughters. And he ends up falling in love with Lily, the daughter he's trying to seduce, and he comes to the conclusion that he doesn't really want to follow through with this, and you have to figure out what happens next. The third challenge is to read a book by water. Um, the book that I'm going to read is Undertow by Michael Buckley. Again, this is a book that I have read previously. It follows Lyric Walker. She, what happens is, um... I'm just going to read the information. Alright, so it says, Lyric Walker's life is forever changed the night she witnesses the arrival of the Alpha or First Men. The world's initial wonder and awe over the new race quickly turns into paranoia and fear transforming her hometown of Coney Island into a military zone with violence bubbling just beneath the surface. Despite her best efforts, Lyric is thrust into the middle of a clash of civilizations when the alpha teenagers are forced into her high school and she's recruited to help their crown prince, a battle-scarred boy named Fathom, adjust to life as an American teenager. Fathom is full of anger and violence follows him everywhere, yet she finds herself drawn to him. Their love, however, is a dangerous one, with forces on both sides working to keep them apart, and it threatens to expose a shocking secret Lyric and her family have been keeping since she was a baby. So again, I've read this book, but I'm rereading it because I haven't finished the rest of the series, and I want to refresh my memory because it's been probably a couple years. The fourth book is to read a retelling. Uh, I'm going to read To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. Um, this is the book that I have not read yet, and I think um, it was marketed as a Little Mermaid retelling. I could be completely incorrect. But we're going to go with it. 
this book follows Princess Lyra. She's a siren and one day she murders one of her own kind. So her mother turns her into a human, the one thing that she pretty much despises the most, and she essentially has to get the heart of a prince and bring it back to her mom in order to be turned back into a siren. The twist is the prince she has to kill is actually a siren hunter and then of course he thinks he saves a human woman when it's really a, a siren princess and then that's pretty much what the book follows. So the fifth and final challenge is to read a book with an ocean on the cover. So for that I'm going to reread Of Poseidon by Anna Banks and again um, it's a series that I started didn't finish and so I want to reread the first book so I can finally finish the series. This story follows Emma and Galen. Galen is the prince of the Serena, Sirena, however you say it, and Emma is a girl who can talk to fish, and he is, um, Galen is tasked with coming to find her, and they have an instant connection. Emma is kind of supposed to be the key to his kingdom. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. And so that's what the story's about. So overall, I'm really excited to participate in this reading marathon. I don't participate in many, especially because um, with college and, you know, summer work, it's been really busy, but since I just graduated and I haven't started my new job yet, I thought, hey, maybe I'll actually have time to read a bit. So Bailey will probably give you guys an update on her TBR during the vlogging that we'll be doing um, during this reading marathon, but I'm super excited. Hopefully everything goes well. But I hope some of you guys will be able to participate in um, this reading marathon. Uh, I'm super excited. So good luck to everyone who's participating, and I hope you all have a wonderful summer. Hi. Hello, Bailey. Oh, hello. Bellman. You're down here. <laughs> oh, oh, doesn't my thing look bad, though? My bookshelf in it? Oh, I'm covering it. This part. Okay, because I was saying something it looks like a hot mess. I hit something. Oh, no, you're grainy. It's okay. That's, I'll fix the clarity. Poor quality. It's strange. Maybe because you're so low. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. Huh. Maybe it's because it's the computer. Okay, well. You happy now? Is it less grainy? No. Then no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, really?